sweethearts or rivals. I'm Charlotte. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Today we have The Village. Village. With, with Village Inn. And Village Port. Village Port. Oops. Village is a game. It's published by Tasty Minstrel Games. Yep. It plays two to four players. can take you about 60 to 90 minutes, and the recommended ages is 12 and up. Uh, and when you add the village in, uh, there are expanded pieces, so you can have um, up to five players. Nice. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is just going to be an impressions video of what we feel the port adds to the game. Uh, if you want to know our review on the village and the inn, um, we actually already have a video of that that you can check out. And what I'll do is I'll put one of those little eye thingies up here that will connect to those original videos. Awesome. Yeah, cool. So. Uh, the village port. So what pieces does Ooh. it add to this here? Uh, what it does is it completely covers up the travel section. So instead of traveling to towns and picking up little bonuses for that, and then a big scoring bonus at the end for being the world traveler, mm -hmm. um, it's a whole new section of the board with uh, new meeples, uh, new tiles, and a whole bunch of new rules. Right. So you have this board here. I'm just going to take some pieces off. Yep. You get these new boats. Yep. Probably can't see new boats. Nice. You get these new treasure chests. Which and we didn't actually get any no. of those in the game. I was going to, but you <laughs> ended the game. You get some tea leaves and some cocoa. Oh, there's another boat. Nice. There. So you travel around here, and you can drop people off, or you can pick the things up. And then it adds some new places to sell in the regular market. So yeah. you can sell some cocoa or some tea leaves here. And that's kind of cool because these are always available. They're not tiles. And when you sell like your cocoa and your tea leaves, you're getting a lot of points. Yeah. And it even is some money. Cocoa seven and the tea leaves is five and a dollar. So that's impressive. It's it makes it worthwhile to go out and get those things and bring them back. Because there's one point right in the end of the game where you sold both of those mm -hmm. and I couldn't sell anything and you got a lot of points. Thank goodness. I was imp like I was I was really worried I wasn't going to win at that it point. It was by 12 points. 1 yeah. 2 3 4 5 oh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Oh. Well, see, I would have been almost 24 points behind you if I didn't do that. Yeah, that was a lot of points. Um, we didn't actually get any of the treasure chests in the game, but uh, what you do is you flip them over and it's anywhere from 3 to 5 coins. Nice from the treasure island. And when you bring those back, you can just kind of keep them there and anytime you need to use them, you flip it over mm -hmm. and you get them. I was going to go up there and get some, but I didn't because I wanted to get back and sell those things right away. Yeah, that was a good plan. Right on. So, uh, because of how the traveling works, there's uh, a bunch of new cards, um, which are just the captains and that determines how easy it is to move around the board. Um, it also adds an interesting thing where if you die while you're traveling and there are no more spaces in the Chronicle left over um, to put your dead people. Right in this area yep, here. There's, a, there's three sections where they're buried at sea. And the first person you get two points, the second person you get one point, and then the third person there's no points. And that's another end of the game trigger. So that's also very interesting. Right. And it's interesting how your boats work too. Yeah. You can put up to three things on your boats, but they can't be the same thing. So you could have a person, um, some wheat, and an item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Um, it's kind of weird, too, because I'm looking at my boat and there's nothing on it, but I still have my captain, so it's still my boat and it's still traveling. But I dropped my guy off to be a missionary, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So um, some interesting new mechanisms, and because of the ability to take goods from this area that you're making stuff, the crafting area, and then bring them out there for points. It's another way of getting points without having to resort to the market, especially if you got a bunch of stuff that there's no demand for in the market. Right. And then the ability to grab the tea leaves and the um, cocoa beans and then bring them back, and they are always in demand for big points, makes going out there and traveling um, worth it. Instead of the original traveling was basically just go here and get a little tiny bonus mm. and that was it yeah it does make the traveling more interesting that's for sure yeah but it's also more involved so it takes more to do it mm -hmm. yeah i like it i think it's cool would you always play with the port 
I don't think I would always play with the port. I think I, the port would definitely be kind of like an advanced variant. If mm -hmm. I was teaching the game, the port would not be part of the game. No, I think the port is a little too complex for a beginning game, for yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah. If this is your favorite game of all time... <laughs> then you need the port. And you've played it a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would need to play with the port all the time. No, not all the time. But I do enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing that this adds, and it's a, actually a separate module, um, are the... Oh, I think you put I them back in the box. Them out. I put, uh, cat's right in the way. Um, and that are that is the decks of um, life goals. So there's two decks. Just getting them all here. Uh, two decks of life goals. You have the silver deck, which are supposed to be a little bit easier. Uh, and then you have the gold deck, which are supposed to be a little bit more challenging. And there's not a lot of choice with this. If you use this module at the beginning of the game, everyone gets one silver and one gold, and it's just random. But it's part of setup. Mm -hmm. This I would play with every single time, including if I was teaching this to somebody for yeah. the first time. And the reason for that is sometimes when I'm teaching Village to new players, um, the one complaint that seems to happen the most is just they seem to be a little overwhelmed with what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. So with this, you don't have to worry about that. This is the first thing you should be trying to do. Yeah. And if there are any cards in here specific to the port, you could just remove them. Yeah. Yeah. I think here, Missionary. Yeah. You'd have to remove that one. Yeah. But. And uh, the booklet for the port is really nice. It, it has like three separate sections. So if you're going to play with everything, there's a section for that. Mm -hmm. If you're going to play without the um, the in, there's a section for that. And if you're just going to add these without playing with the port, there's a section for that. Nice. So it's it breaks it up in nice, easy kind of what version do I want to play and it's right there. That's a nice extra step that they did with the rule book for sure. Yeah. Because that probably doesn't often happen. No, usually in a rule book it's like, okay, to set up, here's the setup for this, for this, for this, and you got to kind of look in between the lines and figure out which setup you're going to do for this whole separate section. Nice. It. Very nice. But yeah, because of these life goals are giving you a direct purpose to start off with, one short term and one kind of end game long term. Um, it's just that focus right at the beginning of the game. And then once you've completed your life goal, you can see what you have left over because it doesn't actually cost you any of those things. Mm -hmm. You just have to possess them. And then you can use those to just jump off for a new strategy right from there. Mm -hmm. So these I would definitely play with um, all the time. And especially for new players, it gives them that focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, do a little variant where you could pass them out a couple and they could choose them if they're not beginning players. Mm -hmm. But it would depend on how many people you're playing with because there's about eight of them here. So Yeah, so that would be difficult, mm -hmm. especially if you've got to take some a of them out. A five-player game, yeah. 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 yeah, so that might not work. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But in a two-player game, it wouldn't be an issue. True. So that is everything that the Village Port adds to the game. Um, I think the only other thing that would be really great is I would almost love to have a board with everything in it instead of the pieces. So if I wanted to play a game of the village with everything in it, I would just take one board out and unfold it. It would be there. Mm. That would be nice. But you would almost need four different boards. Yeah, that would be kind of a pain. Because there would be the original. Yep. And then there would be with the inn. Yep. With the inn and the port. Yep. And with the port. And then there would be the original with five players. Because the original was only four player game. Right. <laughs> so yeah, they're not going to do that. <laughs> no, that's a lot of extra. It's yeah. really clever though how they've fixed up the board. Yeah. To adjust it for all the different things you can add to it. Yeah, all the little extra pieces do fit well on the board. Without being in the way to be knocked around. Mm -hmm. So that's actually really nice. I can appreciate that. So, that's the village with the port. It is. It's awesome. I like it. I might have to say that uh, I prefer the inn over the port. Yes. I, I would definitely agree with that. The The mechanism of the inn with the visitor cards mm -hmm. brought a whole lot more to the game than I find the port does. The one thing with the port that I find kind of... It's... 
necessary, like I need it for every game, would be the, the life goals. Mm -hmm. That's the really big important yeah. thing that it adds to it. That is all neat, but not necessary. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's the port. That it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>